It began with a precision parade as eight squads of 255 recruits braved the searing heat at today's graduation. 27 of them were female officers. The senior police hierarchy, including colleagues from the Australian Federal Police and family and friends were present for the proceedings. The reviewing officer of the day was member for North East, Labi Amayu. In his speech, Mr. Amayu frankly put to the graduates their duties as law enforcers. This follows recent cases of police brutality, which he said destroyed what the police modernization tried to abolish. Are you new recruits going out there to, part, to be part of the problem, or are you going to be, a, be the solution? Are you going to stand up and make a difference, or sit down and be drawn by the bad habit that has created and eroded the discipline and command and control within the constabulary? During his speech, the member also made a commitment of 500,000 kina and a vehicle to boost police presence in his electorate. For the recruits, it was a tough six months of training which culminated today. Young Noah Subrian says he is mindful of the general perception of being feared as a police officer. He believes through proper code of conduct, they can earn back the trust of the people. I'm not past all something, all what happened, all I'm outside. So now it's been a it's been a recruit, we've been passed out now, modernization. So when we try to go outside now, down in this brutality. The recruits will add to the current 5,000 plus police personnel around the country. This is part of the police modernization program of increasing numbers to fit the United Nations required police to civilian ratio of 1 to 400 people. Cedric Pajole, National MTV News.